Okay, in the last video you learned some stuff about some real numbers and different subsets of real numbers. In this video you're going to be getting real. We're going to be adding and subtracting real numbers. So here we go. So when you add two real numbers together, there's two different possibilities. The first possibility is that both of the numbers will have the same sign. And when that's the case, you just simply add the numbers together and keep the sign. If you're adding two numbers together that have different signs, this is where it can be explained in several different ways, but here's how I like to explain it. All you do is take the two numbers, the big one, and subtract the small one. Now when I say big and small, I mean ignore the signs, just take the numbers and subtract the big minus the small, and then keep the sign of the bigger number. So here's what that looks like. Here's an example. Negative 12 plus 7. Negative 12 is a negative number. 7 is a positive number. These signs are different. So all I'm going to do is take the numbers themselves, 12 and 7, and subtract the big one minus the small one and get 5. Now the bigger number in this problem is 12 and it's the negative, so I'm going to keep that sign, say, negative 5. Now if that's confusing, what you're really doing is saying you have more negatives, you have 12 negatives and 7 positives. You have more negatives than you do positives, so the negatives are going to win out. That's why your answer is negative 5. In the second example, negative 18 plus negative 2, the signs are the same, so you just take and add the two numbers together to get 20, and then you keep the sign. Since both of them are negative, the answer is going to be negative. Okay. Now, you try. Try these two problems. All right, so in this first example, or I should say the third example, negative 15 and negative 8, the signs are exactly the same. So you're just going to add 15 plus 8 to get 23, and then keep the sign, which is negative. In the second example, the signs are different. So you take the bigger one, 42, Subtract the smaller one, 10, and you get 32. Now the bigger number is 42, it's positive, so your answer is going to be positive. And you can either just leave it, or you can actually write the positive symbol, it doesn't really matter. Alright, that was adding. Now when you subtract two real numbers, again, there are several ways to do these problems, several ways to explain it. Here's the algebraic way. Every time you see a subtraction, you're going to change the subtraction to adding the opposite. And once you've switched it to an addition problem, then you follow the addition rules. So what does that look like? So adding the opposite means if I had 4 minus 1, I would change that to 4. I'm going to change subtraction to adding the opposite. Now, in this problem, it looks like it's making it more complicated, but you're going to learn a skill so that you can apply it to more complicated problems later. So, in this example, negative 8 minus negative 13, I'm going to change this subtraction to adding the opposite. So, it's going to be negative 8 plus the opposite of negative 13. The opposite of negative 13 is positive 13. Now, I'm writing out every single step. You obviously can take some shortcuts because I'm just showing you exactly what I'm thinking. Now I have an addition problem, negative 8 plus 13. The signs are different. So I take the big number, subtract the small number. I get 5. 13 is the bigger of the two numbers. It's positive, so my answer is positive. Now, honestly, if this were a problem given to me, the way I would approach it is say, okay, it's subtraction. I'm going to change this to add the opposite. Opposite of negative 13 is positive 13. That's how I would have done the problem. So look at the next example, 9 minus 9. Now, simple problem, I hope. 9 minus 9 is 0, but the way you... The way you do this in algebra is you switch the subtraction to be add 
the opposite. 9 plus negative 9 is 0. Again, this concept is something that you're going to have to apply to more complicated problems later, so it's best that you get this handled now while the problems are fairly easy. So here are two more problems. Give these a shot. All right, you should have seen the answers already, but here's how you approach them. Subtraction, change that to add the opposite. 14 and 6 are different signs, so I'm going to subtract the big one minus the small one and get 8. And because the bigger number is negative, I keep that sign. Now here's where it starts to get complicated when you have multiple signs and multiple numbers, but again, negative 3 minus 3, I'm going to make this add the opposite. I'm going to change the subtraction to adding the opposite. Now I have a problem that says negative 3 plus negative 3. You're adding two numbers, the signs are the same. Add them together, 3 plus 3 is 6, and keep the sign. These are one of the most commonly missed problems because the more the signs show up, or the more negative signs that show up, the more complicated it gets, the easier it is for people to get confused. All right, here are a few more problems for you to try in play pause it and then when you're finished it will be the end okay that's it for this week good luck on the assignment